Exciting times we live in. You know the old ancient uh, Chinese curse, don't you? May you live in interesting times. Looks like it. Fascinating to watch grown men screaming at each other and yelling at each other and carrying on. And they even put it on TV. Amazing the difference between the reality and the image. What is marketed and what is actual. I'm going to tell on myself here. I bought something online from a Facebook ad. And it, it was just to feed my vanity. It was supposed to be a shirt that helped pull everything together. You know, when you get older, things, things just, gravity starts winning. And this shirt was supposed to be, this is going to do it. Everything's going to be, you're going to sharp, you're going to shoulders back, it's going to be fantastic. And I waited and I waited and I waited. And I got it. And it was, thank God it wasn't much. It, but it, I got it, it was this flimsy shirt with a little pattern of muscles painted on it. And I thought to myself, buyer beware. But see, that's what happens, brothers and sisters, when we get gripped by fantasy. When we get gripped by image and we get an intoxicated by that which is less than honest or less than true. Goodness gracious alive. I watched that debate this past week and I thought to myself, are there, is there anybody going to tell the truth about anything at any time anymore? It's amazing. And yet our society is gripped by narrative and that which is projected is real. And when you look behind it, it's just as flimsy as smoke. The danger is that we can become so cynical that we believe that nothing is real. And that, my angels, is the trick of the evil one because there is something that's real. The kingdom of God. And on this powerful Sunday, we remember the twelve apostles of Jesus Christ. All of them, except for John, died martyrs' deaths, most of them horrific. I just will, rem I just will remind you of uh, two brothers, Peter and Andrew, both of them crucified, Peter crucified upside down because he told the people that were going to kill him, I'm not worthy to die like my Lord, so they turned the cross upside down. And that's how Peter was crucified. Andrew, his brother, was crucified on a cross like an X. We still even have that cross today. These are the men who went about telling the truth about reality. And you see, brothers and sisters, that's the point. The point is, we don't want to live in reality. We want to live in the fantasy of what if, or if only. If I would have just, or if I could just, then, then my life would be happy. And every time we throw our energies into that madness, we disappoint ourselves. And we find ourselves gripped by illusion. It's one of the reasons why normal Orthodox Christianity insists that you deal with what is in light of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So what did these men do? They went all over the known world 
And they did what Jesus told them to do. What did Jesus tell them to do? He told them to preach. I like that. But I love the phrase that the Scripture adds after the word preach in our gospel lesson. Preach, oh, excuse me, before it. As you go, preach. Think about that for a moment. The reality is, every one of us who claim to be Christians claim to be a witness of new life in Jesus Christ. We claim that the teachings of the Christian faith is reality. That Jesus Christ is risen from the dead. So that means every one of us are, in some sense, sent to proclaim reality to a world gripped by fantasy and illusion. Every one of us. And that's the reason why the Scripture adds the phrase, as you go before the, before the word preach. Because you're going to go about your life. In everything you do, you're going to go about your routine. I have a routine in the morning. In the morning, I wake up, I wash my face, I uh, 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 get, get uh, everybody, everything ready, to take the dog out, and then I have my cup of coffee. And then I go about my day, and there's a routine that I travel throughout my day. And I'm sure you do too. You have a routine in your day. That's the as-you-go part. Don't forget the second part of that command. And, and in fact, let me push it a little further. You're actually not going to. Because as you go, as you live your life, you are displaying what truly is most important to you in your life. As you go, as you live, you are already displaying your priorities and your choices and how you set up your life and how you arrange your life and how you value different things. You're already preaching, every one of you, every, every day, every moment of every day. You're already preaching. The question is, what are you preaching? Are you preaching an ideology that keeps people gripped by the delusion of fantasy? If only we elect this person, then everything's going to be fine. You know what, I'm 63 years old. And I have been hearing that promise every election since I could remember hearing about it. Every election I've ever heard of, it's been, this is one. This is the most important election in our life. You want to go, boom, boom, boom. Because that's the stuff that you're being fed constantly and you're being bombarded constantly with these fantasy-inducing messages that only this can fix it. When the tr problem is, folks, the message of Jesus Christ, the as-you-go-preach message, is that Jesus Christ is King. Jesus Christ is the answer to this world. Jesus Christ is the freedom that sets people free, that heals physical and spiritual diseases, that raises the dead, that casts out the demons. It's the kingdom of God that's the answer for the world, folks. Not this group or that group. Some trust in chariots, others in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. That's what these 12 men left for us as a heritage and inheritance to remain faithful to normal Orthodox Christianity. And normal Orthodox Christianity, my brothers and sisters, proclaims the kingdom of God. First and foremost, and declares it as you go. This morning, what, is, what are you preaching in your life? I'm not talking about your words. That's easy. My grandmother used to say, honey, your actions are so loud, your words, I can't, I can't understand what you're saying. What are you preaching in your life? If someone needed to know Jesus Christ, could they know Jesus Christ by following you around? This morning, the heritage dropped in your lap by these twelve apostles is a heritage of the kingdom of God and declaring reality and not the slavery of delusion. May God grant each of us the courage to preach as we go the kingdom of God. Amen.
Thank you so much for watching. I pray this was a blessing to you. If it is a blessing to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share these videos. It really does help us a great deal. Speaking of helping us, if you'd like to support this media outreach, go to our Patreon site at Faith Encouraged on Patreon.com. You can also visit us at our website at faithencouraged.org and write me at frbarnabas at faithencouraged.org. I look forward to seeing you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. God bless you.